Now, Prime Minister Rutte and I have worked together many times since the beginning of my mandate, cooperating on issues of shared interest like trade, economic growth, climate change, and peace and security around the world. We share not only a set of common goals, but a deep commitment to the values we hold dear. Values like democracy, human rights, and equality. Values upon which our relationship was built and will continue to grow on in the years ahead, I'm sure. Today's meeting was a chance for us to discuss the future of a closer partnership between our two countries. We made good progress on trade, climate change, and peace and security. Nous avons d'abord discuté de commerce et d'économie. Il y a un peu plus d'un an, nous avons célébré la conclusion de l'accord économique et commercial global avec l'Union européenne. Un accord résolument progressiste, moderne et ambitieux, l'ASCG profite aux familles de la classe moyenne, aux entreprises et aux travailleurs des deux côtés de l'Atlantique. En réduisant les obstacles au commerce, l'accord encourage notamment la création de bons emplois ici au Canada et en Europe. Il permet aussi aux petites et moyennes entreprises de percer de nouveaux marchés et de joindre des centaines de millions de nouveaux clients. L'ASCG est aussi à l'image de nos valeurs et à la hauteur de nos ambitions. Il préserve le droit des États de réglementer dans l'intérêt public, de mettre en œuvre des politiques pour soutenir nos industries culturelles, ainsi que de protéger les normes du travail et d'encourager une plus grande coopération sur l'environnement et les changements climatiques. Et moins d'un an après son entrée en vigueur, l'ASCG produit déjà des résultats très prometteurs. In the first year of CETA's provisional application, Canada's exports to the Netherlands have increased by 33%, while Dutch imports have increased by 24%. These increases are amongst the highest in the EU, and they are a tremendously positive sign of the direction that our partnership will take under the agreement. More trade means more opportunities for businesses and entrepreneurs, more customers for companies, growth for the middle class, and more jobs for people in Canada and in the Netherlands. As part of this meeting, the Prime Minister and I also talked about the growing threat of climate change, which we know is the greatest challenge of our time. Almost three years ago, Canada, the Netherlands, and the rest of the world signed on to an ambitious plan to lower emissions and put a halt to a warming climate. We stand firm in our commitment to meet our targets and fully implement the Paris Agreement. In fact, earlier this week, Canada took another step in the right direction when we put a price on pollution. In every province and territory in this country, it will no longer be free to pollute. And as a result of this plan, every family will be better off. Make no mistake. Climate change is a problem we can and will solve. The scientific and economic arguments are clear. Solutions do exist. And Canadians can count on their government to not only take action, but to lead at home and abroad. At the G7 summit, Canada and its partners concluded the Oceans Plastics Charter. This was an important step towards achieving a life cycle economy in which all plastics would be recycled and repurposed. This was terrific news not only for the environment, but for businesses who stand to benefit from reducing the costs associated with plastic use. And on that note, I'm very much looking forward to working closely with Prime Minister Rutte to reduce plastic pollution and keep our oceans clean and healthy for generations to come. In addition to trade and climate change, this meeting was also a chance to discuss matters of regional and defence uh, security issues. Canada serves alongside the Netherlands in the NATO-led training mission in Iraq and in the Baltics. I reiterated to mark Canada's unwavering commitment to NATO mis NATO's mission and to our allies. As I mentioned earlier, the Netherlands and Canada are united by the values we share the same values we are proud to be defending around the world. Countries like ours must stand up for democracy, human rights, and the rule of law at a time when these institutions are facing growing uncertainty. That's why we are committed not only to defense efforts, but to keep peacekeeping missions, notably in Mali. We will continue to work together 
to build a more peaceful and prosperous world, a world where the rights and liberties of every citizen are upheld and protected. Finalement, nous avons discuté des liens qui unissent nos citoyens. Comme l'a fait valoir le Premier ministre lors de son allocation aux communes plus tôt ce matin, les Néerlandais et les Canadiens partagent non seulement une histoire, mais des ambitions communes. Je pense par exemple à notre engagement à bâtir un monde plus vert, des économies plus innovatrices et un marché du travail plus égal, notamment pour les femmes et les minorités ethniques et culturelles. Notre coopération renforcée sur la scène internationale, tout comme les nombreux étudiants qui choisissent de poursuivre leurs études dans un pays comme dans l'autre, témoigne des liens nombreux qui nous unissent. C'est ce qui fait des Pays-Bas non seulement un partenaire solide pour le Canada, mais un ami proche. Une amitié qui s'est forgée notamment lors de la Deuxième Guerre mondiale. C'est ici, à Ottawa, que la famille royale hollandaise s'est réfugiée pendant l'occupation. En 1945, ce sont des troupes canadiennes qui ont libéré les Pays-Bas à la fin de la guerre. En guise de reconnaissance, le peuple hollandais a envoyé des dizaines de milliers de tulipes à Ottawa, marquant le début d'une grande tradition. Les tulipes qui ornent les rues de la capitale à chaque année au mois de mai nous rappellent les liens d'amitié que nous célébrons aujourd'hui et que nous cherchons à multiplier au cours des prochaines années. The friendship that defines our two countries and our people is truly exceptional. I have no doubt that we will find new ways to build on the strong and unique relationship that unites us and grows even closer in the years to come. Once again, I want to thank Prime Minister Rutte, I want to thank Mark for his visit, and I look forward to continuing the work we did here in Ottawa, as we will uh, on international stage and in many bilateral meetings. Thank you, Mark. Turning it over to you now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, Justin, uh, and the Canadian Parliament uh, for the warm welcome I received today. On the disturbing news about explosive devices in the United States, I completely agree with the statement the Canadian Prime Minister just made. In my meeting with the Prime Minister, and also in my speech to Parliament, I stressed that Canada is a natural partner for the Netherlands. We are like-minded countries that always see eye to eye. We have a special history and we share a bright future. The Netherlands will forever be grateful to Canada for the courageous sacrifices made by the Canadians during our liberation. And we remain close partners and key allies on the world stage in areas ranging from peace and security to free trade and climate change. For example, the Ocean Plastic Charter. I'm happy to announce that the Netherlands endorses the Charter and the goals for a resource-efficient life cycle management of plastics. This is in line with our ambitions to transition to a 100% circular economy in the Netherlands. We work closely with NATO and the UN in Mali, Afghanistan, and the anti-ISIS coalition. To mention just a few examples, we are both working hard to combat climate change and promote climate adaptation. And we are both firm supporters of a rules-based international order. We believe that by working together in multilateral fora, we can have a more productive dialogue on international institutions and the necessary possible reforms. Canada and the Netherlands have an intensive commercial relationship. The Netherlands is the second biggest investor in Canada. In the last 10 years, trade flows from the Netherlands to Canada have tripled. And conversely, the Netherlands is an appealing destination for Canadian companies, thanks in part to our outstanding infrastructure. CETA provides many opportunities for future growth since its professional entry into force. Dutch exports to Canada have grown, and also the exports from Canada to the Netherlands have grown. I believe we can expect more positive effects as ratification moves ahead, and businesses become more familiar with the benefits. We are both working together to make this happen. In fact, this is the theme of part of my afternoon program. The Netherlands is very glad to have a partner like Canada in the international arena. 
In a rapidly changing world, a relationship like ours is more and more valuable. We will continue seeking each other out to bolster our partnership and pursue the same goals. Again, just thank, thank you so much.